Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Play, I'm going to do a tutorial playthrough of Halls of Hegra, designed by Petter Olson and published by Tomic Games. Tomic Games did send me this review copy. Besides this video, I also have a recon unboxing, and probably a few days after this video goes up, I'm going to have a review as well. So, for now, let's go down to the table. Alright, before we dive into the actual playthrough, let's do a quick overview of how Halls of Hegra works. In Halls of Hegra, you play as the Norwegian defenders against the German siege and assault that occurred during the World War II uh, invasion of Norway in 1940. During the game, you are going to do some bag building, you're going to do some worker placement, you're going to push your luck, you're going to do some pick up and deliver. If you are used to normal war games or traditional war games, you may not be comfortable with those terms. Don't worry, I'll explain them both in this overview and then during the complete playthrough. Now, the game itself can go up to 11 turns if you're not forced to surrender earlier than that. During those turns, it's going to be broken up into different stages. Now, there's a play rate on the back of the rulebook. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at that. The stages are going to be mobilization, which is where you are getting the fortress ready. You're getting your um, volunteers, you're getting your soldiers, you're getting all the defenders. You are building up the defenses, you are repairing things, you're getting ready for the next stage, which is the first attack by the Germans. After that, there's going to be a first and second siege, which work together. And then finally, not listed on here, there's going to be a last stand rush by the German infantry. Each of these stages, stages excuse me, is broken up into an event phase, a morning phase, and a day phase. Within each phase, there's going to be different actions that are going to happen that you can take and that the system is going to take um, representing the Germans. Um, for instance, every single turn, you're going to flip over a card, and there's going to be a deck of cards for each of the different stages. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to check the weather on the card, and you're going to move the weather marker. Second, you're going to resolve any event card text, usually bad. And then, depending on the turn, there's going to be things that maybe you do, for instance, add doubt discs to the recruit bag, don't worry, I'll explain all this, that you only do in the mobilization stage. All the other stages, you're not going to do that. However, you're going to do other things later on. You continue on through everything, it tells you exactly what you can do using this player aid. Okay, so what is a turn in the game? Remember, you're flipping over a card. So, for example, in the first turn, it's going to be a mobilization phase. You're going to flip over a mobilization card. You're going to check the weather, you're going to check the event. Then you're going to add a doubt disc to the recruit bag. What's the recruit bag? The recruit bag is where you're going to be recruiting your defenders. Defenders are broken up into officer, volunteer, soldier. So officer, volunteer, soldier. There's a green disc that is a hunter, and there's a white one with a red cross that is the medic. They're going to be coming out of this recruit bag. I'll explain the actual um, mechanics of doing that. But as you draw them, you're going to be placing them on the ready section here, right here. As you spend them, and this is where the worker placement comes into effect, you're going to place them on the board. After they've conducted their action, they're going to go back over here to the tired spot, which then you can spend supply to put them back in ready, and or you can put two in the rest, which then the next turn, they'll be rested and they can come back in the ready. Like I said at the beginning, your defenders are going to be taking actions on the board. That's where the worker placement is. Things like defending the walls in these positions, firing artillery, going on supply runs on the board here, which is the pick up and deliver. They go to the end, the supply depot. They pick up the certain supplies. They bring them all the way back to the fortress. You're going to conduct maintenance, whether it's shoveling snow, repairing damaged guns and artillery, bolstering defenses, adding mistiles to the hit bag. Um, promoting defenders, or increasing morale. You also have to worry about the infirmary. You're, you are going to have defenders get injured. They're going to be placed in the infirmary. You're going to check morale, any modifiers. Wherever the marker is on the morale track, you're going to possibly be drawing high or low morale cards and resolving them. You're then going to check for any surrender, depending on any of the uh, if you meet any requirements here, it's going to move this cube up or down. If it ever reaches unconditional surrender, the skull and crossbones, you lose automatically. And that's how you don't make it all the way to 11 turns. There's a lot going on in the game. You know, there's uh, stacks of what look like airstrike markers up here. You can see some German artillery. Um, there's the supplies. I mentioned the pick up and deliver of the supply run system. These are stacks of cards or tiles that get flipped over when you shovel snow. There's a lot to the game. Oh, as well as you can actually see this piece here moves. 
It says mobilization on here because it's a mobilization stage. It'll flip over to first attack. And after the first attack, when you begin the siege stages, you actually remove it and you have this part on the board for the rest of the game. So I think that's enough of an overview. Let's dive into the actual playthrough and you'll see how all these different systems are interconnected and how they work together. All right, game is all set up and Halls of Hegra, here we go. First turn down here in the track in the bottom of the board, it's the mobilization stage. So we go ahead and draw a mobilization card. All right, first thing you do, you look at the very top left, you check the weather. Go ahead and move the weather marker here in the middle of the board, whether it's going to be snowy, cloudy, or sunny. We got cloudy, so we go ahead and place it in the middle. Second, you check the event. Remove one miss counter from the hit bag, or miss token, depending on what you want to call it. So there's only a couple in here now. There's a uh, artillery token, and then there's one of the miss ones. We'll go ahead and remove that from the bag. Later on in the later stages, you're going to be drawing from that when the German artillery, right, and are uh, firing. Um, and so you're going to want to eventually, at some point, add missed tokens to it um, to reduce the chances of drawing something that's going to hurt you. Okay. After you do the event, you go ahead and add doubt discs to the recruit bag. So the recruit bag is filled with all the different defender tokens or discs, the ones that aren't on the board. I'm going to go ahead and add, we have a stack of these purple ones. And what you're doing is you check the number next to the doubt track here on the mobilization board. So the mini mobilization board, you have the doubt track and see the number next to it to the red cube on the right is a one. That's a starting location, which means you add one of these purple discs to the recruit bag. All right, the very next action we're gonna take, we get to draw from the recruit bag. Now this is a very key part of the game and this is the push your luck aspect of it. When you draw from the recruit bag, you get to choose how many times you wanna draw Draw one at a time. You can choose if you want to draw again. Up to four. Unless you get one of those purple doubt discs that we just put in. If you do, no matter how many defenders you've drawn, you're basically going to go ahead and only get to pick one. And then everything else goes back in the recruit bag. So it may be a situation where, hey, you've drawn up to three. Let's say you have three defenders. Well, you can go for a fourth one. But if you draw that purple, that doubt disc, you're going to have to put two of those three back in and only get to keep one. So it's very push your luck. Now, earlier in the game, so since this first turn, there's only two of those discs in here. And there's a lot more defenders. So odds are we're going to do pretty well. So let's go ahead and push our luck a little bit. So let's draw one. All right, we got a volunteer. Let's go ahead and draw another one. Oh, uh, doubt disc. So we have to stop there. Um... Unfortunately, there's only two in there and a whole bunch of other defenders, but I had poor luck. So now we're stuck with just one volunteer. We can't draw any more. In this case, we'll go ahead and put the doubt disc back in the recruit bag. He does not get, he does not stay out of it. You put him back and we take our defender or our, uh, well, our defender disc, which in this case, it's a volunteer and we place them in the ready box. And when we place volunteers in the ready box, we get to take a supply. These yellow cubes here, go ahead and place it in the one box. When you get additional supplies up to say five, 10 plus, you can use these boxes five and 10 just to kind of make change to kind of keep track of how many you have. So for instance, right now with two cubes in the one, we just have two supply. Okay, that's it for drawing from the recruit bag. So that's actually the last action you take during the event phase as part of the mobilization, which if you're able to read it, you can have it over here. So right, we're in the mobilization stage, the very beginning of the game, you just have one, two, and then these two actions. And now we go to the morning phase. Morning phase starts off, we get to move defenders from rest to ready. There's for your first turn of the game, there's nobody in rest, so don't worry about that. Secondly, you can spend supplies or morale to move defenders from tired to ready. This will come into play starting next turn. We have none in the tired box, but what that is, is any guys you have here in tired, any of your defenders, you can spend amount of supply, and here in this track right here, you can see if you spend one times the yellow cube, right, so one supply, and you check the number next to the red cube, it's a four. We would get four defenders. We can move from tired to ready. But for now, everyone's in ready, so no worries. Third step would be move defenders from tired to rest. So if you have, you paid for some, say to move them to ready, and you got a couple left, or you just have some, but you're just, you know what, I don't need to pay for them, I don't want to. I wanna save my precious supplies, which it's, they're hard to come by sometimes. You can put up to two per turn into the rest box, and then remember that at the beginning, the next turn, you're gonna go ahead and move them from rest to ready. For now, 
We have our defenders and ready. Let's go ahead and use them. All right, what I know I want to do here, and I have different ideas how to play the game. You can focus on putting certain things down, keeping the doubt marker down at the start, um, keeping morale up, um, you know, shoveling snow, repairing guns. Because if you notice, your defensive positions, they're all damaged. Your artillery over here, it's all damaged. So you're getting, you have a bunch of different things you're going to want to try to get done and not necessarily enough defenders to do it, but you do your best, right? Okay, so first thing we'll do here is let's go ahead and we have our um, officer. Now, I want to place him. I do want to get some of these markers either up or down, depending. I want to get that doubt marker down as low as I can because I want to get the bonus to morale. You can see on the track here, if you have it all the way down to here, although the number of doubt discs never goes down, you do get a bonus to morale at this modifier when you get to that part of the game. Now, what you do, this is a worker placement, right? You get to place your defender in any of these spots. You can, if you have trouble spotting them, just look for the, for, for the Norwegian flag here, and then it helps you kind of identify where the different locations are that you can place a worker. Let's go ahead and place one, our officer specifically, in negotiate. So negotiate, when we resolve it, so after they're all placed, we'll go ahead and resolve it. Move one marker on either the fear or doubt tracks down one. Now, if you look at the actual negotiate track here, or uh, location, it actually has a times two, which means it normally takes two workers to activate it. Or if you look in the corner, it has the officer and it has a little two by it. That means that this officer counts as two. So if you put the officer there, he is gonna take care of both um, requirements. And you'll see some of the different things, for instance, shoveling snow, take either, you can do one per, or if you have a hunter, he counts as two actions. Um, officer down here counts as two as well, and medic over here counts as two. You get the idea. Okay, well, let's put our officer there. Now, I want to make sure we get the extra bonus, though. I don't want to just leave it at that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take two volunteers. I'm going to also put them there. So you can go ahead and activate a space more than once in a turn, except for the firing artillery. You can only do that once per turn. Um Let's put two there, that'll be down to the plus one. And let's go ahead and put two soldiers there. Should we do that? Hmm, I'm trying to think of what we want to do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that to get it down to the plus two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place a other soldier and the a volunteer. We're gonna put them on, send out a new supply run. Okay, I have placed all of my defenders. <clears throat> so now we, have end, we end the morning phase. And we go to the day phase. Day phase, you're going to go ahead and just run through all those actions where you put defenders, starting with the zero. So zero mobilization, we check them. We didn't do open a supply route, but we did negotiate. We did it three times. So remember once for the officer, and then once for the two, uh, two volunteers and two soldiers. So one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead, and, and I like to place them right away in the tired box, you don't forget. So we activated negotiate three times, which we can move the fear or doubt track down now three times. So let's move doubt down one, two, three. All the way to the bottom, it's at the plus two morale position. Check defend the walls. It's not gonna be in play yet till a little bit later in the game. Fire artillery. We could do that now if our gun was repaired. We don't have anybody there and the gun's not repaired yet. So three, supply run. Send out a new supply run. Here we go ahead and move the defenders onto the supply run map here. Put them where Fortress Hegra is, and you go ahead and move. What you're doing in this part of the game is you are making runs with your defenders, following the tracks here. You're trying to get to the supply depots where there's supplies, and you want to bring them back. That's a pick up and deliver. Now, you notice some of these are empty. To get those supplies there or to get those things there, right, and not all supplies. These are actual supplies. Um, this will be the negative for the German patrols. This is the... Um, there's mistiles that go here, mist tokens, right, that go in that hit bag. And then over here, you can pick either plus morale or additional soldiers. Those get placed if someone, if one of your defenders or two of your defenders in this case, does the open new supply route action. Right now, let's get those supplies up there. We really want them. So let's go ahead and enter the map. Now, you can see over here, based on the weather, that's your movement for your different units. So in this case, with cloudy weather, movement is one through five spaces, which means you can go either one up to five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, and you'll go ahead and grab a supply and our soldier, one, two, three, four, five, and grab a supply. 
Now, you have to stop if you encounter a German patrol, which are none on the board yet, but there will be very soon, which will be drawn from the patrol bag, or you stop when you get to the supply depot. All right, so we did supply run, num area number three. Area number four, maintenance, there's actually nobody there. Area number five, infirmary, we don't have anybody there. Area six, morale. Check morale modifiers. So the doubt marker, remember, we have all the way down at the plus two. So you take the morale track token, move it to plus two. Is it a red day? That's right down on the track here. No, it's not. Are we out of supplies? Nope, we have two. Or do we have fenders in the waiting area, which is the waiting area of the infirmary? No, we do not. Per defender in the morgue, so it's defenders that are dead. And then minus one for having German infantry in the red sectors, which that's not a worry yet in this stage of the game. That'll We'll have to worry about that later. All right, so we've done all the modifiers. Now we go to the morale track itself. Okay, we check where we are. The plus two it says draw three high morale cards and resolve two of them. So we go over to the high morale deck, go ahead and draw the top three, and we will resolve two of them. Now, each card here, you're going to go ahead and check. It's going to have a section for mobilization slash first attack stage, siege one, siege two. So which stage is the game in? Because we're in the mobilization first attack uh, stage, you're gonna, or mobilization, excuse me, stage, you're going to go ahead and just check the top here. So out of these three, we get to pick two of them we want to resolve. First one, add one miss to the hit bag. Remember, we talked about that's a good thing. Second one is repair one damage tile. That's also a really good thing. And the next one is lower the um, suspicion level, two levels. Suspicion track over here, we haven't talked about it yet. That's going to impact when it comes to our men moving around with um, German soldiers on the map. Right now, I'm not worried about that. Uh, what I want to do, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and add one hit to the, one miss to the hit bag. And I'm going to go ahead and repair one damage tile. As for the other one, I'll go ahead and just place it back in the high morale stack of cards. Okay, so first off, repair one damage tile. So let's go ahead and remove the damage tile, one of them, off the artillery gun here. And the second high morale card, add one miss to the hit bag. So we'll take a hit token and place it in the hit bag. Basically, that one that we took out, we get to go ahead and put back. Now that we've resolved the morale track, we go ahead and move the cube back down. We check for surrender, which I guarantee there's nothing that's going to hurt us, but we'll run through them quick. If you have three or more defenders in the morgue, remember, so dead, dead defenders, you would go ahead and move this cube up on the track. Right now, it's at honorable surrender. It can go down to truce or German retreat, or you can go up to surrender, but if it ever gets to unconditional surrender, the skull and crossbones, you lose. So besides three more defenders in the morgue, there's four more defenders in the waiting area right here. Uh, six German artillery on the map, or siege during the siege if you have fewer than the required number of healthy defenders, which is the number next to the cube. So once we're in those siege stages, we'd always check to see how many healthy defenders, right? So not in the infirmary. If we have less than that, then we would automatically lose there. Okay, now the final steps, D and E here on the turn track. We check the turn track for, do we add any German uh, army tokens? Is there gonna be a coup, retreat, or last stand? So down here on the track, you can go ahead and you can see there are two little German cross icons. So we go ahead, grab the patrol bag. We're gonna pick two out of here. One, two. So these two, <clears throat> two things, one, we're gonna see what stage we're in. We're in mobilization stage, that's green. So if you look up here, this line of um, locations is green, right? Then there's yellow, matches yellow, blue matches blue, and then the uh, orange matches orange. In this case, with the green, so we go ahead and flip each one over, a three and a five. So the three goes in location three on the green track, and location five on the green track. So now the, they are, right now they're kind of, you know, we don't have anyone, any uh, supplies there to go after, but if we did, we went ahead and opened a supply route and put them there, these soldiers would be in the way of us, and we'd have to deal with them later, which we'll talk about when that comes up later in the game. Okay, uh, we added the German uh, tokens. There's no coup, that comes later. Retreat, last stand, those are all um, special events that happen later in the game. So we go ahead and move the turn marker to turn two. And we go ahead and I'll put the mobilization card off the board and we can draw another card and begin turn two. All right, let's begin turn two. Hopefully the game will start to flow a little faster here. So we go ahead and draw a mobilization card. All right, weather remains cloudy. We lose two morale for the special event. Bummer there. And then we go ahead and add a doubt disc to the recruit bag. 
Remember, we're in the event phase. And so now we draw from the recruit bag, doing our whole push your luck aspect. <laughs> Hopefully, we get better luck this turn than the first turn. First draw. All right, and you always want to draw up to two. You always want to at least draw two. Because even if that second one had been a doubt disc, which it wasn't, right? First one was soldier, second one was the volunteer, you would still would get to keep that first one, right? So always draw two, never stop at one. Now it's the push your luck part, because if we go for a third and it's a doubt disc, we're going to have to discard down to one. Let's push our luck. And that was a bad idea, but you never know until you actually draw from the recruit pack. Okay, I do want to get... I want more supplies right now, so I'm going to go ahead and choose to keep the Volunteer. So I'll put the Soldier and the Doubt Disc back in the Recruit bag. Okay, now the Volunteer goes to the Ready Box. And because he's a Volunteer, we get additional supply added to our supplies. Okay, that's it for the Event Phase. So we go to the Morning Phase. We have Defenders from Rest to Ready. We had none in the Rest, although we may end up having... Yep, it looks like we'll probably have one now. Um, spend supplies morale to move defenders from tired to ready, which we're going to do. Let's spend one supply and let's move our two soldiers and our officer and one volunteer to, so that's four to the ready box. We'll leave that one volunteer there in the tired box, except the next step is you can move up to two defenders from tired to rest. So we'll move them to rest. So remember next turn now we'll get him automatically ready. Now we get to spend our defenders. We get to move them from ready to the different action spaces on the board. Okay, so uh, we have our doubt all the way down, which is nice because that, that plus two morale is going to help us get this from negative two back up to zero. So we're good there. I don't, I don't feel we need to negotiate at all. I do want to open another supply route, though, because I want to get, specifically, I want to get the soldiers. Um, definitely, I'm going to focus on them first. So let's go ahead and assign, well, yeah, let's assign our... You use two, don't you? Oh, that's a bummer. Let's put our two volunteers there to open up a new supply route. Let's put our officer over. And you can see some places he can't even go, right? Like the officer, he can't repair, he can't bolster, nothing like that. Um, <clears throat> let's put him on Inspire, which moves the morale marker upper one. So that way we'll actually get from zero to plus one when it uh, gets to that resolution of it and finally our two soldiers and we're going to open the supply route should we try to send them to get them right away yeah let's go ahead and do that we also have one supply left over there so we'll put both soldiers over here to do a supply run yeah let's do that okay so all of our all of our defenders are moved out to the red action spaces so let's go from the morning phase to the day phase now let's begin resolving our actions. So first one would be over here, open new supply route. We have our two, so let's put them in tired. And we get to open a new supply route. We get to just pick which one we want. Now that one, you can only do the morale or soldiers, but I already said I want to do the soldiers. So we grab the soldier tokens here and place them over that location. All right, defend the walls, no. Fire artillery, no. Supply run, yep, that's what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and place them here. And let's go ahead and start moving our men around here. Let's start moving. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to get them up to there. So, And it is cloudy, so they can move up to five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, you cannot stack them. They have to remain separate. Um, and then second, we go ahead and move our defenders that have already got supplies. We're going to move them back. However... When they are carrying a delivery token, they have minus one to their movement, unless it's a hunter, which unfortunately we don't have any hunters on the on the board as our part of our defenders. So that one to five becomes one to four. So one, two, three, four. So can't quite make it. One, two, three, and he'll have to stop there. Can't quite make it all the way back to Hegra. But next turn, we're gonna get both of them back, which is definitely gonna help us out. Okay, maintenance. What we have is we have the officer down on the inspire. So we move the morale marker up by one. And put him over and tired. Nothing in the infirmary. And now we go to morale section. Morale modifiers. That doubt marker, remember, is all the way down at the plus two. So we are going to get our morale goes up to plus one. Not a red day. We're not at supplies. No defenders in a waiting area. No defenders in the morgue. And no German infantry on the map. So morale track. Go ahead and check it. Plus one. We draw two high morale cards and resolve one of them. All right. 
I like the morale cards because you can get nice little bonuses uh, you weren't expecting. All right, we can either add two new volunteers to the recruit bag or gain one supply. Um, what does that draw? Two and resolve one or remove one German infantry from the map. Well, the German infantry, they're not really threatening us at all right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think we're going to do the add two new volunteers to the recruit bag. That just increases our chances we can actually get more uh, volunteer, more um, defenders out of here as opposed to those damn uh, doubt discs. So we will discard that one and we'll put this other one back in the high morale deck. Okay. So we resolve the morale track, so we'll move it back to zero. So rent check for surrender, none of those are going to apply. Go ahead and check the turn track. No German infantry, no coup, no retreat, no last stand. The end of next turn, turn three, there will be the coup. So we go ahead and move the marker over and let's discard the mobilization card and we will start turn three, which is actually the last turn of the mobilization stage. All right, turn three, let's begin. Let's draw a mobilization card. First off, check the weather. Uh, it's snowing, unfortunately, for us. So it's going to reduce the movement of our men out here. Also, you move the snow marker here over to four. You can see if it ever gets over there, it's going to hurt you. If it goes over here, if you actually shovel, you're going to get to um, flip over snow tiles, which we're, we're not there yet. Okay. Second is the... Um, is the event. Draw one disc from the recruit bag. Place it in the reserve. Vitro. Redraw any doubt disc. Oh, that's a bummer. So basically one of our potential recruits, one of our defenders. Okay, so the soldier is going to be placed in reserve. Okay, that's it for the events and adding the... Oh, now we have to add the doubt disc. Almost skipped that part. Almost cheated. And it's on here right to remind you, add the doubt disc. And now we got to go ahead and draw. Do our... Uh, push our luck, right? So first draw. Hunter. And we have a hunter. Even nice to have out here, right? That additional movement. And he's got a shovel in snow. Draw again. Medic. Oh, we definitely want one of those. We always remember, you always want to draw two. Let's try to draw a third. Oh, volunteer. I love it. Let's go again. Let's go for four, baby. Push your luck. And we were very lucky. And we got four defenders. Beautiful. So all four of these defenders get put in the ready box. In addition, one of them is the whole volunteer so we get a supply which we can definitely use those can always use them trust me and if you feel like you have a lot later on in the game you never have enough okay that's it for drawing from recruit bag so let's go to the morning phase move defenders from rest to ready and here's that one we had that was in resting oh he's feeling ready to go this turn spend supplies morale to move defenders from tired to ready let's spend i only have three guys in there but we want all three of them let's go ahead and spend one supply and get all three of them over here and no, we don't. We can't move any from tired to rest because they're all out of there. So let's go ahead and start assigning them to their action spaces. So let's see, what do we got here? Um, we know that we're gonna wanna open up defensive positions. I'll tell you that right now because at the next turn here, going into the first attack phase, we're gonna wanna have these defensive positions open. So we wanna go ahead and repair them as much as we can. So find repair here. It takes two for each one, unfortunately. So we'll put two. Two, and you can't use the officer. You can use the medic, surprisingly, but you can't use the officer. And two, so it'll repair all these positions. And we'll go ahead and get, see, I'm trying to think here. Hmm. Yep, and then let's send the officer to inspire morale, maybe? What do you think? What should you do? You do morale, you negotiate. That's not a bad one either. Um, let's do morale, try to get morale up and our hunter, let's go ahead and send him out on a supply run. Okay. All right. So let's go to the day phase, start resolving these actions. Nothing here, nothing there, nothing there. Supply run, put him out in Hegra here. All right. Now we start getting some of our, our men back. So let's move him back. Boom. You go ahead and place him in tired. You get, when you're resolving a supply run that has brought the um, token back, you go ahead and move the defender to the tired. You get a morale. So morale goes up. The suspicion goes up. And we get two supply automatically. And then whatever the special is, in this case, it's an additional supply. 
So we are now at five supply. Move him, one, two. Now remember, he has, it's snowing and he's carrying something, so he only has three movement, but only took two to get here. Move him retired. We get the morale goes up. The suspicion goes up. We get two, which right, we're at five, so that'll be seven. So go ahead and put five, six, seven. Always make change properly here. And we get an additional supply for this. Now we're at eight supply. All right, so we have supply here. We also have those soldiers here. We definitely want to get those soldiers. So let's go ahead. Um, we'll start moving them here. So he'll go one, and then he has to stop there, huh? Yeah, that's true. And then he'll go one, two, stop there as well. And the hunter will go one, two, three, four. He has to stop. Yeah, I, I wish he got a better movement during snow. Feels like he should, but it is what it is. Um, Yep, so we want to move, so we resolved our supplies. Now we go to maintenance over here, and we have three different actions of repair. So we're going to repair all these positions on defending the walls. So we just go ahead and move them off the board. And we'll put all of them over in the box. And inspire morale. Morale is going to go up by one here. That's our officer. And nothing for the infirmary. And now we go to morale. So we check. We still have that doubt marker down here at plus two. So it actually goes up. Now it's at plus three. So going up once, twice, you add one hope card to the low morale deck. So find the, uh, where are they at here? These hope cards. So low morale, and eventually we'll have low morale. These hope cards are going to be a positive thing. You gain one supply, remove this card from the game. So it basically replaces it's something you have to take. But in the hope situation, it's good. Now, sometimes you'll add despair cards to the high morale deck, in which case you may injure one defender to remove the card from the game. And it says you must choose this card when drawn. So, okay. So in this case, though, we get two hope cards. Go ahead and place them in the low morale deck here. Shuffle it up. And that was just the bonus of going um, over. At the same time, we will go ahead and draw four high morale cards. Where are they at? There we are. And resolve three of them. Oop, draw four and resolve three. All right, so three of them. So let's check, remember the top here. Move the snow marker two steps to the left. Uh, not too worried about that. Move two defenders from tired area to the ready area. No, that's not too bad, actually. Remove one doubt from the recruit bag. Oh, I like that. Uh, move two defenders. Okay, so it actually saves uh, a bunch of supply. Let's do these three. So we'll go ahead and put this one back. Um, there. Shuffle it up. How many cards left over here? Okay. So, we'll do the move two defenders from tired area to ready. Actually, hang on. I'll do these two. And then move two defenders from tired area to ready. And remove one doubt disc from the recruit bag or gain a supply. I want the doubt disc, so we'll go ahead and remove that. Find one in there. Go ahead and take it out. Perfect. I think our recruit bag does a little bit better. All right, we will discard the high morale cards that we used. So all this, put it back. Surrender, nothing there. All right, check the churn track. Four, we are going to add two German, right? Two, yep, two German from the patrol bag. So we are still in the green, so it's be that top. We draw two of them. Check the number on the back. Three and six, so three. And then six. Oh, that one at six is definitely going to hurt us there. Um, and then we are going to conduct the coup stage, which it's helpfully listed at the bottom of the mobilization board here. Coup. Draw X number of discs from the crew bag and place them in the reserve. X is where the fear marker is. It's at three. Redraw any doubt discs. So it's a bummer. So let's see. And then we'll ignore the the bag, or the doubt disc, excuse me. All right, so these three get placed in the reserve, and we'll go ahead and put the doubt burn back into the recruit bag. Move the supply marker one step to the right. So now when we spend supply, 
instead of getting to uh, ready four, we'll only get to ready three. Place one defender on each defense position not covered by a damage tile. Take these defender from the tired, rest, or ready areas. If you place three or four soldiers, you receive plus one or plus two. I tried to get soldiers. I couldn't, so it's okay. But we'll place them right here. So here, 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 and here. So no bonus morale, unfortunately, um, for the um, for soldiers. Flip the mobilization board over. So we'll grab the two red cubes. We won't need them anymore. And the mobilization board gets flipped over to the first attack board. Remember, the first attack board will be here during the first attack stage, which will begin next turn. And then after that, and it goes to the siege stage, you'll remove it entirely, and it'll just play with the main board itself. Right now, it is here, and nothing special goes on it at this time. Okay, that is the end of the turn. So we'll go ahead and move the turn marker over to turn four. That is the first attack stage, and discard this mobilization card. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this mobilization deck of cards and place the first attack deck of cards in its place. All right, beginning of turn four, first turn in the first attack stage. Okay, just like usual, we go ahead and draw a card. And we're going to check the weather, first of all. Weather is cloudy, so thankfully it's not snowing anywhere. We'll move it back down to cloudy. Check the event. Injure two defenders. Oh, no. Move the artillery marker one step to the right. Two of our guys got hit by shrapnel. All right, so we injured two defenders. Now, how do you pick ones to get injured? Easy, you go ahead and check the actual icons on the right of the card here. In which case, you can see that it starts with a volunteer, then there's officer, then soldier, then hunter, then medic. So we go ahead and grab one of our um, volunteers. And the next one would be, let's see, would be officer. Oh, so it's so the first one's volunteer. So any volunteers that are available, go ahead and grab them. So we'd have, in this case, two volunteers. Um, yeah, I believe it's just, it would be the, the same. If you, as long as you have the first icon, I believe those are the ones you have. If, you, if someone knows otherwise, uh, comment below and let me know. All right, so we have them injured. What do we do? We place them somewhere in the infirmary. How does it work? Easy, you roll a 1d6 for each one. So one and a three, the one is not good. So they go down to the one area. However, you get to put them, if there's open beds, you get to place them in an open bed. So we'll place them at a one and we'll place them at a three. So there's only three open beds. So if you have more than three defenders that are injured, they're gonna be in the waiting area and they're gonna slowly be moving down towards the morgue. <laughs> so you wanna make sure to get them treated, get a bed and get them moved on. Okay, um, that's it. Yeah, that's it, I guess. So let's go ahead and all right, now we get to draw. So there's no more doubt disc, right? Not adding any more doubt disc. So the whatever is in here is in here. So let's go ahead and begin uh, drawing recruits from a recruit bag. Same thing, push your luck. Obviously, there's a few more doubt disc, a few less recruits. So it's a little riskier. But remember, you always want to draw two. So I just draw two at a time. Okay, we're good there. I'm going to push my luck. I'm going to draw another one. And I'm going to draw. I'm going to push my luck, and I'm going to draw a fourth. Doubt disc. That was a mistake. I should have stopped at three, but lesson learned. So what happens? Well, we already have a medic, so I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to put both medics and the doubt disc back in the recruit bag. Um, and then I want this, which may be a mistake, but I want this um, volunteer. So I'll put him in ready, which we get a supply for him joining us. Okay, now we go to, because now we're in the first attack, um, first attack stage. We're not skipping now to the morning phase. We've got to finish out the event phase. There's going to be, we're going to be adding German infantry meeples and we're performing infantry attack. How do we do that? Very simple. Check our event card at the bottom. You can see it's the German infantry uh, symbol. There's times three. So we grab three of the very interesting looking wooden tokens here and we will place them over here on this section here. So this is where the infantry are going to be entering and then attacking from. You start off by placing them in sector one on the bottom. Now, there's a max of how many you can have. The max is right here, five in each, each of these areas. If that was full, even if we're placing them from the card, if that was, we already had five right here, the overfill, the over ones would go over here. Um, anything more than five here would automatically go to charge, which you don't want happening. For right now though, we'll go ahead and have all three of these here in sector one. Now we've added them, now we perform the infantry attack. How do we do it? 
Again, very simple. For each of these one, each of these uh, German infantry meeples, we're gonna roll a d6. So we have three of them. So let's go ahead and roll three d6. We got a one, one, and a two. That's probably good for us. So looking at the board here, there's a three to four. One to two means nothing happens. So nothing happens with all three of them, thankfully. However, three to four would be move, which when we resolve it, would move them up to sector two. And for hit, it's five to six. So any five or six is gonna be a hit on our defenders. It's reduced by our defense, but our, right now our defense is at zero, which is not good. So it would automatically injure one of our defenders. Fortunately for us, they rolled terribly, or we rolled terribly, which means they are going to stay right there. Okay, that's it for the infantry attack. As you can see, it's very simple. So let's go on to the morning phase. Move defenders from rest to ready. Nobody's in rest. Spend supplies to move defenders from tired to ready. Nobody's in tired. Um, move defenders from tired to rest. Again, nobody there. So we're just going to go ahead and move our ready defenders to the action spaces. I do want to get our defense up. Um... But I also, we have, a, we have a lot of stuff going on here, guys. So this is a little worrisome. We didn't get as many defenders as I was hoping for. Well, I'm a lot of them are out on the board right now. But uh, yeah, we're not doing uh, too hot in some of those ways. First off, let's go ahead and get the medic. Let's get him over in the infirmary and start treating patients. Um, let's get our officer over here. And let's start getting, hmm, let's get our, let's see, see, he can't build up defense, unfortunately. But what he can do, he can go ahead and inspire, move morale up. So let's go ahead and do that. And then with our two volunteers, let's get them to should build a defense up, or what should we do? What do you think we should do? We're trying to grab additional. Um, so we have what do we have? One. He's gonna grab that one, and then one over there. The supply, which we could definitely go for. Um, we can also repair the gun. I don't know. So many things to do. Um, let's go ahead and repair. So let's repair. Remove one damage and unjam. So we'll put our two volunteers here on the repair location. Okay. That's it for morning phase. Let's go to the day phase. We get to start off. Now remember, there's not negotiating anything like that, but we get to finally start defending the walls, firing at the Germans. So we have our defenders up on the wall here. We can roll one die per um, defender. However, do keep in mind the type of defender determines their range, which you can see right here, hit range. So hunters and volunteers can only hit in sector two, the red sector, um, and then soldiers can hit either there or out to sector one. So let's go ahead for the two soldiers. The only ones are gonna be able to shoot at them. We're gonna roll a 1d6 on each of them. A one through three is suppressed, which we got one three, and then a four through six is a hit, which we got one hit. So one suppressed, which means you go ahead and just lay them down like that. And we got one hit, which he is then just removed from the board. He is hit and taken out of action for now. Whether he's killed, injured, and now he's just a drain on the German resources, we don't know. But we did get rid of one, and we got one suppressed. There's only one that is available now. Unfortunately, the uh, it's a downside of not having a whole bunch of soldiers up here. You can't target all of them that far away right away. Okay, defend the walls is done. Fire artillery, nobody there. Supply run. Yep, we definitely want everyone to finish our supply run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to risk it a little bit. So I'm going to bring this soldier here and move him into location six where the German um, unit is. He's going to stop there. Now you can wait and the suspicion will go down or because he's a soldier, he can actually fight. So he's going to try to fight him. So what you do, first off, you do remove the token, thankfully for us, um, remove him from the game. And then you're gonna roll against the suspicion. We wanna get higher then. It's at three right now, so we wanna get four, five, or six. We got a four, so we're lucky. We went ahead and um, stayed, like stayed survived, right? We survived it. Now we have to go ahead and keep moving. So that was one, and we're, we're carrying something. Moving up to five, so we can move four places. So one, two, three, four. And then he will go one, two, three three stop there and the hunter will go and pick up the last token there and stop there at the depot okay um and then let me check for the suspicion marker all right so quick correction the unit would actually be um he would stay there and the suspicion goes up to four but then this one was able he was able to move one farther closer because one two three four yeah so we're still, we're good. He just had to stay at the location where he conducted the combat there. Okay, maintenance. So repair. Let's go ahead and repair another location here on this gun. 
getting the gun more effective. Get them tired. And oh, by the way, I know you're probably thinking, and if you didn't think of it then, you see the defenders here, you're like, wait, wait, you forgot to put them tired. No, they actually stay here in those locations. They do not get put back into the tired box. Um, they get to stay on the walls firing at the Germans, if you wish to, um, throughout the time that they're here. So um, then let's go down to Inspire, move morale marker up one. Go over to the Infirmary. Okay, so with the Infirmary, now that we actually have men in here, it matters. You know, we have our defenders. So not only do we have the medic who's going to activate twice, but in addition, there's a relapse and recovery, which automatically happens whether they're being treated or not. Now, we never had anybody in here, so it didn't matter, but now it will. So what we do is the medic counts as two. So you need one action to treat one patient in one bed. He gets to do two actions. So let's go ahead. He gets to move. He can move one here, and he'll do him here. Yep, we'll do that. And then... Relapse recovery. Move all patients in the waiting area down one level. Well, there are none. Move all patients in the beds one level up. So it's sort of an automatic heal as well. So he just gets to kind of boost him along. Okay, spent his action. Now we check morale modifiers. So the that only occurs, the, the plus we had, right? That only, from the doubt marker, that only occurs during the mobilization stage. That's done with for the rest of the game. Now we check to see if it's a red day, which is uh, highlighted red. It's not. We're not out of supplies. There's no defenders in the waiting area, no defenders in the morgue, and thankfully there are no German infantry in the red sectors. This would be sector two is all red. So we're lucky. We had a plus one, draw two high morale, and resolve one. All right. So now mobilization for a sec is actually the same section, so we can either remove one German infantry from the map or lower the suspicion by two levels. That's the one we want to do for sure. So let's go ahead and place this on there. I'm going to shuffle it quick. I don't know how many more we're going to get, but uh, I think got to be prepared, right? All right, and then let's go ahead and lower the suspicion two levels from three, four down to two. Very nice. Just in case. Um, okay, and then we resolve the morale. Check for surrender. Again, none of that's going to apply. Check for turn track for anything special. There's nothing special happening. So we go ahead and move it to turn five. And next turn. Oh, and let's go ahead and discard the first attack. All right, let's begin turn five during the first attack stage. Go ahead and draw a card. Check the weather. It's cloudy, so it stays a cloudy. Resolve the event card text. You lose two morale. The morale is running low. You have to do something. I'm trying, I'm trying. So morale marker goes down minus two. Um, we will go ahead and get to draw... Uh, Draw from the bag here and try to get some recruits. Uh, see what we get here. All right, first one. It's a medic. I'll take them. Let's draw again. Like, see, I always want to draw two. A lot of times, oh, bummer. Just draw two at a time, right? Just pull two out. But anyway, we got the doubt disc, so no push on luck here. So put the doubt disc back, and we get our medic. He goes to the ready. All right, now we add Germany infantry meeples and resolve the infantry attack. Plus four. So we add four. Again, of these wonderful looking infantry meeples. And again, you place them in the bottom, the closest sector to you, the bottom sector, whatever you want to call it. However, oh, look, there's five there, and we have to place another one. So like I mentioned before, he goes up to sector two. Now we go ahead and perform the infantry attack. We're going to roll for each one. I like to start at the top, work my way down. So start at like kind of the closest to actual uh, defenders here. So let's go ahead and roll for him. Rolled five, so that'll be a hit. And let's roll four. Um, we have four of them. So the one that's suppressed, right? Because he's suppressed, he's not going to have an action this turn. When we're resolving the actions, he's going to go ahead and flip up to be ready. So it's just the four. So let's go ahead and roll for the four here. Uh, one, one, three, and five. So the one ones do nothing. The three goes to move. And the five goes to hit. So now we're going to go ahead and unfortunately um, resolve everything. So starting at the top, working our way down, we have a hit from this uh, German meeple, German infantry. So he gets a hit on our defenders. Now you check your defense. You would go ahead and remove the hits. And by the way, you'd add them all up, I guess I should say, technically. So one, two. So two hits. Two hits on defenders. 
compared to your defense. Our defense is zero because I forgot slash didn't have enough men available to build the defense up. Um, so that means we're going to take two hits. Now, that really hurts us because those two hits are going to come out of our defenders here. So we'll take these two defenders on the right, and they are hit, which means we're going to go ahead and roll to see how hurt they are. They become injured defenders, right? So four and five. So let's go ahead and put the five here at the top, and then the four, put him in the waiting area there. All right, and then we will, so then we can move them back because they've been resolved. So we'll move them to the bottom there. And then finally the move, he will go ahead and move up into sector two. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put him over there. Now at the end, right when we get to, remember the morale modifiers phase, if they're still here and they occupy this sector, it's gonna be negative modifier two morale. Okay, and then also our, the one that was suppressed, he gets to go ahead and stand up. Okay, that's it for the German infantry attack. Um, Let's go on to the morning phase. New defenders from rest ready. There are none. Defense applies to move defenders. Let's do that. So let's go ahead and spend one. Oh, I don't know why I'm moving over there. Spend a supply. And then we get to pick three. Remember, we only get to th ready three now. So let's pick these three here. And no more. And then we will get to move up to two units, which will just move our medic from tired to rest. And now we get to go ahead and place our ready defenders in action spaces. Hmm. I know we have some guys coming in from over there. Um, I don't like the idea of the snow is getting a little close. Uh, I got a couple things I'm worried about here, but we need, let's put the medic going. We need the infirmary. We need these, uh, these defenders back. Let's get our, try to move up the morale a little bit. So let's put our leader over here to inspire and let's put the two. Oh, they can't operate the, um, can't operate the artillery, unfortunately. It has to be two soldiers. So once those soldiers get back, we'll go ahead and start using them. So for now, let's put... Hmm, what should we do? Let's go ahead and do... Let's repair. Let's repair the artillery gun. Uh, work on their artillery here. Okay. So all of our defenders are placed. On to the day phase. Fire at the Germans. Yep, we're definitely going to do that. We have two soldiers. Let's roll two. Obviously, we'll be tar trying to target the two that are in the... Sector number two, five and five, those are two hits. So both of them are eliminated. Very nice. Good shooting men. Now we go on, fire artillery. Nope, we're not doing that yet. Supply run. Yep, let's go ahead and finish this off. So it is cloudy, so they get to move up to four, and then or up to five, but then they're carrying, so up to four. One, two, and let's just, before I forget, oops. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Oh, he has to stop there because he, he could go five, but he can't stack them. So, okay. So we'll be able to resolve one. So grab our soldier, put him in tired. We need that soldier. We need him back, <laughs> we need him back fighting. Um, go ahead and increase the morale by one. Increase the suspicion by one. Uh-oh. And we get two um, supplies, which we're at what? Five, six, seven, eight. So it actually goes to 10. And we get the special, which the special is dun, 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 a soldier out of the reserve. Go ahead and place him right into the tired spot. We'll definitely need him. Okay, that's it for supply runs. Let's go to maintenance. Repair. We're going to go ahead and finish repairing this last position here on the artillery. And over to the infirmary. Our medic activates twice. He will do... One, two. Yep, we'll do that. Um, because then we do the relapse and recovery. All patients in the waiting area down one. So he says fall to three. Then all three of these move up, which means they go. They're healed enough to get back out there. So we place them in the waiting area or the, excuse me, the tired area. Waiting areas here. Okay, check morale modifiers. Red day, no. Uh, supplies, no. Defenders in the waiting area. Technically, well, actually, once those moved, he gets to be placed over in a three. So, no. Um, in the morgue, none. Red sector, none, thankfully. So, it's only minus one. Draw two low morale cards and resolve one of them. So, here's where you have to pick, right? Like, you don't want to, but you have to. So, we'll draw two of them. Injure one defender or add a German. I don't want any more. I guess I could injure. Uh, what would it be, though? 
injure one defender and it would be a soldier yeah i don't think so so let's go ahead and pick add a german army so we'll put the this one back shuffle it up and we will um add one german infantry so patrol bag draw and now we're in the yellow so five so right there Ooh, oh oh boy all right that was it for morale cards right yep all right on a surrender um nope nothing's going to apply check the turn track which there is so three and turn five here three more German patrols move on to the map one, two, three only a few left one four and four again it's on the yellow track here so one and then two of them over here at four and that's it that's the last of the turn so we go ahead and move the turn marker to turn six which will be the last turn of the first attack stage go ahead and discard the card and on to the next all right, turn six, last turn of the first attack stage. Let's draw a card. All right, it is sunny. Beautiful. I think it's the first sunny day we've had since this uh, whole siege started, this whole battle started. Okay, change. Oh, bummer. Change one soldier into a uh, volunteer. That sucks. <laughs> so put him out and then volunteer. Like, can I do it over there instead? But that's okay. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, that's that's a bummer. I wonder if you can do it anywhere though. Could I do it on the walls, or does it have to be from a ready? Because if it's from, or excuse me, tired. Because if it's from the wall, I'd rather do it at the wall. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try that. See if it'll let us. So right there. Rather have him available. So I want to put him on artillery, I think, here. But anyway, okay. So we tried that. Um, one of our guards was caught sleeping while on duty. We just can't afford the risk. Fair enough. Okay. Did the event. Let's go ahead and draw. Get some, get some more recruits here. And we'll just draw two. And there you go. Doubt disc already. Doubt disc back. And we get one into ready. So I guess we, I guess we already had a soldier. It didn't matter anyway. Didn't even have to cheat or anything. All right. Now let's go ahead and add infantry meeples. German infantry meeples. Five of them. So one. And now it's full. So the next four are going to go up here. Uh-oh. Okay, and then we perform the infantry attack. So these first four up here that are closest to the fortress. Two, one, two, three, and five. Two, three, move. And then the one is ignored, obviously, and then the five is going to be a hit. And we'll check for the five down here. Three, three, four, six, six. So three, three are the move. Four is also a move. And then two sixes is two hits. Um, okay, so that'll be, we'll resolve. First off, let's go ahead and resolve the hits. Which it's one, two, three, three hits. So both defenders here on the wall, because remember you the minus the defense, which is defense is at zero. Both of these are injured, and the last remaining hit, the leftover hit, is just ignored, thankfully. So these two, let's go ahead and see they're injured. Do the first first, so six and five. Thankfully, we can put them right in um, beds right here, so they're close to coming back. We'll come back next turn. Um, and then we have the two, the movements here. So we go ahead and move these two up to the charge box. And then we take three, the three that were in the move here, and move them up to sector two. All right, so now we'll go ahead and resolve the charge. You go ahead and injure the leftmost defender in a defensive position, um, and then place the German infantry back in reserve. However, if it's not possible because there are no defenders, you move one defender from the tired area to the morgue and place the German back in the reserve. So both of these are going to cause two defenders to go be killed and to kill them. So two, uh, let's go ahead and pick out of the tired here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick two volunteers and we'll put them in the morgue. And that is going to really hurt us in the game. 
basically every turn for the rest of the game. Um, not looking good for Fortress Hegra here in my playthrough. Okay, I think that's it for the infantry attack. Let's go on to the morning phase. Defender, defenders from rest to ready. Boom. Um, spend supplies. Let's spend down to nine. We'll spend one. Let's move three over. And let's spend another one. Let's move another three over. Boom. Okay. All right. None to move from tire to rest. Nothing like that. So let's go ahead and move them to their action spaces. Um, let's go ahead and get the artillery going. So we need, what is it? We need two soldiers for that. And let's get the medics over here getting these injured. Defenders back to action. Let's get defender here. Fire the Germans. And we'll put these three all over there too, I think. Oh man, I forgot him down here. Oh, did I not resolve him last turn? Oh shoot, I don't know if I did. Oh man, that's a bummer. I think I may have forgotten that. May have been a mistake there. Ooh. Oh, that sucks making mistakes like that when you're doing a playthrough, especially on video. If I made that mistake, if I forgot to resolve, I think I must have to resolve the uh, officer down here on the Inspire. My mistake, shoot. Um, Dang, that's like, because that would have been the morale card, right? What was the morale card? It was two morale? No, no. What was it? The low morale. I mean, add a Ger Oh, it was just add a German infantry. So I guess technically it would have been zero. So it wouldn't have done that. Which was what? Like, which one? Five or something probably. So we'll just undo it. My bad. Sorry, guys. Hey, try not to make mistakes, but uh, mistakes happen, especially when you're playing solitaire. And of course, the fun ones always happen when you're on video. Um, so he would have been tired, which... Um, obviously would want him, so I would go ahead and spend a, another supply to get him ready. So, have him ready to go. Okay, and then, speaking of which, with the leader here, let's, or the officer, let's get him to, um, probably do it again, actually do the inspire, try to keep the morale up. Okay. Alright, that's it for the defenders. Let's move on to the day phase and conduct their actions. First off, the defenders here are going to fire. So we have four of them that can fire at these five. Let's see what they can do. Number one through three suppress. Four through six are hits. All suppress. All fours should say suppress. So there's still one standing. Okay, now we go to area two, which is fire artillery. He, we are going to fire artillery. So we get to choose um, per gun, which will have the one gun available. We can choose target infantry sector um, over here, a map row, or Vern's airfield. Not named after my son, although it's really close. Varn, maybe, because he's Vern. But anyway, um, let's go ahead. Obviously, we want to get rid of these infantry here. So let's hit two per revealed um, reticle and suppress the rest. So it's automatic. So two and two. So four are hit. So let's go in one, two, three, four. And let's keep him suppressed. And then we go ahead and conduct a jam check, which you can see there is a number with a little like gear and a wrench. Four plus, we need to roll four plus to not jam our gun. Roll a six, so one of the few times the number the roll went with us, so we don't have to jam. If we did, if it was jammed, you'd flip it over and see now it no longer has a reticle um, ready to go. Or crosshairs, whatever. Um, okay, it's it for firing artillery, supply run. At least we get a little bonus here. So let's get him back and them back. So let's resolve the first one. He goes to tired. We get a plus morale. And the suspicion goes up. And then we get two supply. And the special witch, dun dun dun, is a soldier. So we get to take a soldier out of the reserve and place him in the tired area. And same thing again here. He goes to tired. We get a plus one morale. The suspicion marker goes up. We get two. What do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that becomes 11. So one and 10, one and one. 11 supply plus the special, which is dun, 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 another soldier. We definitely need those soldiers right now. So, 
Okay, I think that's it for supply runs, right? Yep, that we have out here. So four maintenance, and then don't forget now, uh, morale actually gonna go up one, so plus three, which is really nice. All right, and five infirmary. All right, so two, he gets to do two, or actually we have two of them, so they get to do four actions total. So let's do one, two, three, and then four, I guess. It's kind of a waste, but it is what it is. All right. So they just become tired, and he's tired, and now the relapse and recovery. They're already in the morgue. <laughs> It's already dead, and then he moves off and comes back. So a little bit of a waste. I may only needed one of them, but that's okay. I was all excited. I, all, I couldn't think straight. I was I couldn't think straight. I forgot my officer down here. Anyway, morale. Any modifiers at a red day? It is. So that's a minus one. Uh, are we out of supplies? No. Defenders in the waiting area? Uh, no. Per defender in the morgue, there's two of them, so that drops down to zero. And then any German infantry in the red sector? Yes. So minus one. So... Draw two low morale car cards and resolve one. Yeah, having those uh, defenders in the morgue, uh, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be pretty rough going for us the game. All right, so we are, what are we at? The first attack sage. So hope and, oh, we got a hope though. So we actually get to, must choose this card. So may gain one supply to remove it from the game. Hmm, what do you know? Benefit of having a hope card. And we'll go and shuffle the other one back into the low morale deck. Um, <clears throat> morale is resolved. Go to surrender. So now you check for surrender. So three or more defenders in the morgue, which there's two of them. So thankfully it doesn't move this up yet. Four or more defenders in the waiting area. Um, there are none. Six German artillery on the map, none. And then if there's siege, you remember check the number. Don't worry about that yet. Although we will starting next turn. Speaking of which, check the turn track. Four, German infantry, no. Coup, no. Retreat, yep, so it is retreat. So we go ahead and uh, follow the retreat that's printed on this uh, board right here. Place one German artillery in each space marked with an artillery symbol on the yellow row on the map, which is one, two, three. And you start from the left, one, two, three, and place them out here. Two, and three. Move the supply marker one step to the right goes down to two and lower the defense by one which we draw one tile from the hit bag which is an artillery we draw an artillery marker so we move the cube up here next to here what happens is the cube continues moving to the right as it reaches those spaces these german artillery get placed on the board if all these are on the board remember that's going to be a negative on the surrender so um, but then this artillery token does go back in the hit bag. It does not stay out, unfortunately for us. Okay. Um, let's see. Remove the first attack board from the main board. Move any infantry from the first attack board to sector one on the main board. And place one status tile on the machine gun action space. So remove him. So I go down here in sector one. And you can see the machine gun right here. He gets his um, right here. Means he is ready to be used by one of the defenders. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, that's tough. Got our butt whooped here. So, okay, that's it for the end of resolutions. We go ahead and move the turn marker. So we are entering turn seven, siege one phase or stage of the game. Um, yeah, there we go. So on to uh, turn seven. Go ahead and discard this card. Yikes. All right, turn seven. Siege phase, siege one. Go ahead and flip a card over. It is cloudy, marker to cloudy. We lose two supply and two morale. Wonderful. And morale negative two. We have a large water leak in the supply storage, flooding our supplies. Well, who is in charge of that? Okay. Now check the events on here. So by the way, we are done with the um, recruit bag. So drawing recruits, right? That was during mobilization and the first attack stage. Now that we're besieged by the Germans, you know, they've surrounded Fortress Hegra, we have no ability to recruit new um, defenders, unfortunately. So, all right, um, let's go ahead and resolve. So there's some new icons on here. Art, uh, you can see airstrike, artillery, and the um, German meeples. So airstrike, you just pick the number left over here of stack of air tiles, you add them to the hit bag.
And then we have the artillery. So what you do, this isn't the marker. This is when you look at the right over here, whatever is the highest number revealed, which is a five. You go ahead and draw five out of the hit bag. Now, I don't even think there is five in here, so we'll draw what we can and then we'll see what happens. So one, two, three, four, Okay, that's it. So there's not even five in here, which is unfortunately not good for us. So we're, what you do is resolve the ones that are here. So first off, let's resolve the miss. Yay, first one counts as a miss. Unfortunately, it doesn't go back in the hit bag. It just gets discarded to the reserve. One, minus one supply, minus one supply. Those are placed out of the uh, off the board as well. Um, and then you get to do... Um, so it's minus two supply, by the way. So we're down to eight. So five, six, seven, eight. And artillery, which remember one of the artillery, we go ahead and move the cube over. So the cube moves up again, place it in the hit back in the hit bag. And then um, because we had a fifth one, right, they were supposed to resolve. We don't have any tiles. We actually move the surrender marker up once. The render, surrender was at honorable surrender. It was up to regular surrender. If it moves up one more time, it becomes unconditional surrender and we lose. So, oh, these guys never got put back. I'm all, all over the place doing this playthrough. Man, last playthrough I did without recording, I was doing just fine. So anyway, um, okay. So that is it for the airstrikes artillery. And now we do the German infantry. So four of them. One, two, once again, it's max. So they here, three, four. Let's go ahead and start resolving. So these two up here. Three and a six, so one is move, one is hit, and the five down here. One, two, two, three, three. So, which is only what? Nothing? Beautiful. They just stay right there. Love that. Love that for us. Okay. Now we go ahead and resolve them. There's one hit, which we look at our defenders here. Look at our defense, excuse me. It's at zero still. So the one hit is going to be inflicted. So this defender here will be injured. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a three. So he is placed on the three. We should place him in the bed. And he goes back. And then the one that's moved moves up to sector three. Okay. And that is it for from the infantry attack. Now we go to the morning phase, move defenders from rest to ready. There were none. Spend supplies and morale to move them over. Takes two per, so it takes more. Let's spend, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Him, him, we need four. And four, five, six. And let's do down to four. One more to get him. And, uh, oh boy, um, him. Okay, yep, let's get them. Okay, and we'll move two to rest. Let's do these two into rest. So then next turn we can have them available. All right, let's move them to their spaces. So let's get our, we'll try to get that morale up a little bit, at least hurt us less. The officer can go to inspire. Let's put the medic in the infirmary, of course. Let's get the hunter over to the supply run. Let's get the um, get the artillery firing here. Let's go ahead and get. It's probably too late. Let's go ahead and get the. Um, let's bolster our defense. It's not too late for that, but let's bolster our defense. And with our last guy, he'll shovel some snow. Oh man, bummer. Not much going on, but we'll do what we can. Okay, on to day phase. Let's go ahead and fire the Germans. We have, let's see, where can they hit? Oh, they can only hit here, and the soldier can hit all the way. So he's going to fire just at this one. We have one soldier available that can hit, unfortunately. A three, what is that? A suppress? Yep, so he's suppressed. Eh, better than nothing. Two, fire artillery. What we want to do with him, let's go ahead and target the airfield, Vern's airfield here. We want to target, and for every reticle here, um, every revealed crosshair, we get to resolve one option. So if we're targeting the airfield, we can remove one air tile, stack, add two miss markers, 
get two um, bonus morale or move this render marker down. Let's go ahead and do the miss markers. Um, yeah, let's do four miss markers. Let's remove that down. Actually, let's do two miss markers in the hit bag. And then let's go ahead and do the move surrender track down. Surrender to honorable surrender. Um, and that's it. And now we want to resolve the jam check. It is six plus at airfield, so we're likely to have a jam. But for roll six, after roll six, uh, three. So we do have a jam. So we should go ahead and remember, flip it over. So now next time we haven't unjammed it yet, we only get to do one crosshair, one reticle there. Okay. Artillery is done. Supply run. Let's send him out. Try to get those supplies over there. Go ahead and move. He is moving up to five, one, two, three. It'll stop there and raises. If once you stop, if you don't fight or anything like that, suspicion does drop. Um, do the maintenance. So we'll shovel the snow. It only goes over one, unfortunately, because it's just a soldier. Let's do bolster our defenses. You get to go up one, so it goes from zero to one. Better than nothing. And spire morale, so it goes up to minus one instead of minus two, or negative two. And we'll go ahead and treat. It gets two treatments. Let's go ahead and do one, two. And the relapse and recovery recovers automatically, so he's placed in tired as well. All right, morale modifiers. Is it a red day? No. Uh, supplies? No. Defenders in the waiting area? No. Defender in the morgue, two of them. So drops to two, drops to negative three. Um, and then in the red sectors, nope. So, all right. Resolve the morale track. Draw four low morale cards. Resolve three of them. Yikes. Siege one. So we increase the suspicion level, lose a supply, injure a defender, draw one top from the hit bag. Let's uh, increase the supply, or increase one level and injure a defender yeah let's do that so we'll put this one back all right so first up injure one defender which remember we check the card it's the volunteer so volunteer becomes injured let's go ahead and roll to see where he ends up three and place him in the bed lose one supply and then increase the suspicion level by one. Okay. All right, let's resets. All right, three more defenders in the morgue. No. Four and more in the waiting area. No. Six artillery in the map. No. Siege. We are under siege, so we check to see how many healthy defenders. We have five. We need to have we need to have five minimum. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so plenty. Plenty there. All right. Check the turn track for German infantry patrols. Yep, there's gonna be two of them. I think we're almost maxed out on the... No, there's a few left in here, so... Put two more out. And now we are in the blue, so they go to blue. They go to one and two, which was t terrible luck for us. When we're trying to get that supply back. Um, And then that is it. So that is the end of turn seven. Let's go ahead and discard that... Discard the siege card here. And uh, move on to turn eight. All right. Turn eight, last turn of siege one. Next turn will be turn nine. We'll go into Siege two. All right, Siege one, draw a card here. It is sunny. Oh, sunny and beautiful. Special event, increase uh, suspicion by one. Okay. And then add two German patrols. Yikes. The Germans are on the lookout for our patrols. Getting supplies will be harder. Well, yeah, no kidding. All right, a two and a six. So right here and over here. All right, and then we resolve the aircraft. We put the two in the hit bag. The artillery, which is it's five, right? So we draw five tiles. All right, so something that I made a mistake on this game was that actually when you repair things, which I, I thought, but I, I placed them in the reserve by accident. So for instance, we repaired the position, defensive positions here, right? Or when we repaired the artillery, Gun one, gun one, gun one. These do not go in the reserve. They actually go in the hit bags. That, that makes sure you have a, a bunch of markers to start with, at least. So that's my mistake. I know that I took a hit over here because I took one. Remember, there was an extra one. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm um, just going to go ahead and focus on moving forward. So draw five of these. 
So at this point, you could be damaging guns. You could be, you know, doing all kinds of things here. And <laughs> unfortunately, it looks like I am. Uh, so, boom, boom, boom. All right. Which is, I uh, shouldn't have said anything. Horrible luck. Okay. Okay. So we drew defensive positions. We drew artillery, defender, and gun one. All right. Defensive position B is right here, which there, unfortunately, we had a defender, so he is injured. He goes to the six, and he can move him right to the spot. Um, we had defensive position C, which is no one there, thankfully. Artillery, which remember, we put it back in the hit bag and moves the artillery cube over. And injure one defender, which, look at the card, is going to be, unfortunately, will be our officer. So he is injured. Go ahead and roll for him. A three. So place him in the open bed here. And that is discarded, though. That is a place in reserve. Gun one has a damage token placed over here. I don't know if it's... All right, so just like I thought, it's placed on the rightmost. So it'll be placed over the jam location anyway. Okay. That's it for the artillery res resolution. So now we do the German infantry. So five of them. So this is all full. So they'll go up here. Actually, we'll put four here. Two, three, four. And the fifth and final one will go up sector three. And we'll go ahead and resolve our infantry combat here. So up here, resolve. We rolled five, so that's a hit. Um, the five that are down there in sector two. Wow. Okay, so three, a bunch of fives and sixes. So the three, I think, is movement. Yep. And then the fives and sixes are all going to be hits, which thankfully, well, sort of thankfully, is at this point, it's only going to impact the two defenders that are actually there. And then check the five down here. One, two, six, six, six. So one, two, and then six, six, six. All hit. So it's thankfully that it's kind of wasted. So for their sake, it would have been better to have movement. So let's go ahead and resolve them. So we have one, five, six, seven, eight hits, <laughs> which is is ridiculous. Um, minus one, so only seven hits. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you got a lot of the German infantry. Um, there's one right there, right? Yep. So that would be all of them. And so we'll just have the one hit, the two hits. So both of these become injured, both of our defenders, excuse me. I'm trying to get at here. So let's roll for both of them. Uh, four and six. So one is placed in four, one is placed in six. And there's no beds open, so it'll be in the waiting area. Um, and then we had one that was moved, so he'll move up to this sector. And then he was already uh, suppressed, so he'll go ahead and stand up. Okay. Not too bad. <laughs> Wink. Yeah, right. Um, okay, that's it for the Germans. So that's it for the German infantry attacks. Now we go to the morning phase. Got our defenders. Let's get defenders here from rest ready. Let's go ahead and start moving some over. Um, let's spend two supply, which gets us four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll go ahead and spend our, we can't spend our last supply. Um, let's go ahead and then we're done there. We'll just move these two over to the rest. Oops, excuse me, I'm tired to rest. Okay, day phase. Let's go ahead and resolve them here. Not day phase, but the end of the morning phase. Let's place some out from the ready. Obviously we need the infirmary rocking and rolling. Let's get our artillery going. Let's uh, put some more men on the defensive walls here. And let's get this last guy. I don't even know, what does he got left? What can he do? Shovel some snow, it's kind of lame. Can't do a repair by himself. Mm. Yeah, he'll just have to shovel some snow, I think. Well, I could send, no, it's nothing. He's already out there, so, okay. All right, um, that's it, go to the day phase. So, let's do what we gotta do here. Fire the Germans, we have two guys. We'll go ahead and fire these two. Six and a two, so one is suppressed, one is hit. We'll do the fire artillery. Hit two per revealed and suppress the rest. So go ahead and aim at, well, you'll thin out sector two here actually, so hits two, suppresses the rest. Let me check sector two, it's four plus on the, um, the jam check. He failed that, so this next one here flips over. Okay. Three supply run, he gets to go ahead and move, go ahead and move here, grab a supply, and then he stops here at supply depot. Number four maintenance, shovel snow over. <laughs> Good job there, soldier.
use you somewhere else. Um, and then the medic here gets two actions, so he'll do... One, two, actually, one, two, so it'll do, and then move all patients in the waiting area down a level, bummer, but then move all patients in the beds one up, so off the bed, off the bed there, so they get to move over two, which then frees up two beds, four, three, and four. I'll take it. Okay, as infirmary, let's go to morale. Is it a red day? No. Out of supplies? No. Defenders in the waiting area? No. Um, defenders in the morgue? Yes, two of them, so that's two. And the red sector? No. So negative two, let's go ahead and resolve. Draw three low morale and resolve two of them. All right, lose your supply. Oh, we got a hope one, so that's nice. So one, we'll definitely use that one. Um, change, uh, we'll use, yeah, so let's do these two. So I'll put that one back on the bottom. I don't care. I don't care. All right. Hope may gain one supply. Yay. Which is very nice. And then this one, change a, each one, right? Yep. Change a uh, soldier into a volunteer. So, and oh, discard it. Oh, that's it for, I marked that, that back. Three more defenders in the morgue. No. Four more defenders in the waiting area. No. Six on the map, artillery on the map. No. Further, not quite enough healthy. We need five. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, nope, we are good there. Um, okay. Check the track here. Nothing on there. So it's going to move on to turn nine, which is actually the beginning of Siege 2. So let's get the Siege 1 card out of the way and replace the Siege 1 deck with the Siege 2 deck. All right. It's like magic. Okay. Turn nine. Let's go. Draw a card. All right. It is snowing. We lose three supply. If you don't have enough, instead injure three defenders. Holy cow. The supply storage took a direct hit. Well, I only have two, so I, I do have to injure three defenders. Um, it's going to be soldiers, so up to, was it, three defenders. Okay, so most of them that I have. All right, let's roll for all three of them. Uh, three, four, and three. So three, four, and three. And uh, no beds open or anything like that. Wonderful. Um, let's go ahead and resolve the airstrike. This goes into the hit bag. Artillery, which is five is the highest number open. So we're going to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so gun one. Take a hit here. The miss marker discarded. Defensive position A here is hit, which he becomes means this, uh, Soldier is injured. Soldier's placed in area four here. We have minus one morale and injure one defender. So minus one morale over here goes down, discarded. Injure one defender, discarded. Defender is going to be soldier first. There are none available. Oh, there's one right here. Um, so we go ahead and injure him. To six, so he's placed up here. Um, okay, and then we do the four German infantry, which will be one, two, three, and then four up here, and start resolving them. The closest to here is two, one and a four, so four would be a move, and then down here, these three, uh, two, three, and four, so... Two of them to move. Two does nothing. And lastly, these five down here. One, two, two, three, four. One, two, three does nothing. What is it? One, four. And that's it. Okay. The rest of them stay. All right. So we can resolve what the German infantry do. He will go ahead and move it. Sector four. He stays. He will be um, unsuppressed. He'll be unsuppressed. He'll be unsuppressed. These two move up. Sector three he was up to sector two that's these stay okay all right um that's it for german infantry so that's it for event phase let's go to the morning phase rest to ready we get a him spend supplies let's spend both supplies and take the officer 
entries because we get total four, two, three, four. Um, and then I'll move these two to the rest. All right, and we'll go ahead and place them. Let's place obviously both of our medics over here. Get the um, get try to get morale up, and these put one here, and the last one. Reckless. We'll do re reckless defense here. All right, so on to the day phase. Let's go ahead and resolve. So fire the Germans. First off, we'll do the reckless defense. He gets to hit two of them, and then he's automatically injured, but we'll get him out of there. And he's injured. So he's placed. Put that area three. Oops, there we go. And then he can't fire that far, so he's useless there. That's okay. Um, on to fire artillery. Nobody there. Let's do a supply run. He's up here. He'll go one, two, encounter Germans. Um, he stops, which decreases suspicion level. Four, maintenance. We'll morale up one, thanks to the our officer here giving a rousing speech. The infirmary, we get two of them, so they act four actions. So let's go ahead and free up some spaces. So with four actions, one, two. Actually, one, two, three, four. There we go. Uh, move all patients down. What goes down one. Then move all patients in the beds up one. So these all become healthy. Which frees up beds. Oh, they're at two. For all of them. Okay. Five. Um, don't let them for me. So six morale. Red day. Yes. Morale goes down one. Out of supplies. Yes. Morale goes down by another. Defenders in the waiting area. Yes. And then per defender in the morgue, there's two of them. So one, two, so we lose two defenders, which you go ahead and just discard them. They don't aren't killed, they run away, I guess. So two soldiers, we only have one soldier, so we'll do him. And then a officer, so he our officer um, defects to the Germans, to great shame. Um, and then Red sector, nope, none left. So draw four morale cards, low morale cards, and resolve three of them. All right, where are we at? Siege two, yep. So siege two, lose one defender. Move the defense level down. Injure two defenders, draw two tiles from the hit bag. Let's do these three. So we will injure two defenders, which again will be these two here. Five and one. And then we will move the defense level down one to the zero. And finally, we will actually let's do this one. Draw two hit tiles from the hit bag. Put this low morale card over back over. With two left. Um, draw two tiles from the hit bag. Gone one. Is now gonna be out of commission. And minus one morale. Which thankfully, well, goes down. I don't know if that matters at all. If we already lose a defender. I'm going to tell you we're about to lose the game. It doesn't matter. So let's discard him. Gun one is now completely knocked out of commission. Um, okay, that's it for morale. We're going to ignore that. The airstrike because go to surrender. Three more defenders in the morgue. No. Four more defenders in the waiting area. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Um, six on the map. No. And then Siege, fewer than the required number of healthy defenders. We need six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six that are healthy. There's actually six that are healthy. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we do survive technically, right? There's waiting area for defenders in the waiting area. Yes. So does the here's the here's what so it does matter. So that card, which these are used the the airstrike it said injure one defense or not injure one minus one morale the morale was already a negative three we're already resolving it with the cards um if it goes down to negative four it bounces back up that's lose one defender that would then cost us the game so here's the deal we're either gonna lose right now or we're gonna lose next turn so it really doesn't matter we're, we're gonna lose this game guys it's over <laughs> so I'm just going to say we lose now because I don't want to play out an entire turn of me getting my Norwegian face stomped in. So I'm going to say 
That one applied, which means we had to get rid of a defender, which would have been him. He runs away. Obviously, he knows we're losing here. So we only have one, two, three, four, five. We need to have six. Fortunately, that is a unconditional surrender. We lose the game. The end of turn nine. Okay, that is Halls of Hegra. You guys can see how brutal it can be. Now, I pushed my luck a couple times. You say maybe I shouldn't have, but that's part of push your luck, right? If I had drawn the right defenders, right, instead of drawing the doubt discs, well, then I would have had a lot more defenders to start with. Um, and that's what I'm going to tell you right now. That's my strategy when I play. The closest I've come to winning, and I've never won, um, the closest I've come to winning, I made it all the way to the last stand at the very end, and I lost. I, I want to say I barely lost because I did lose, but it... It was the best chance I've ever had. I was able to draw. I was lucky enough to draw a lot of defenders the first couple turns. Um, I still did have a doubt disc that like ruined it. And I only got, I think, one on one of the turns. So it's not like I had, you know, max defenders every turn. But I definitely was pushing my luck and I was successful. So if you have those doubt discs at the beginning of the game during the mobilization stage and you're not getting enough defenders to start the game with, because that's what your engine is, right? If you can't tell... You have enough defenders, you're able to do actions. I was not able to. For instance, that game that I made it to the very end, I was had an, I had so many defenders in the first couple turns that I was able to repair all these positions. I was able to repair the gun, and I was able to bolster my defense up. I actually had a defense of three. So when all these Germans were you know, rolling the hits, right, they weren't even hitting my defenders. And I had, I had because I had so many defenders, I had drawn a bunch of soldiers, these were all soldiers, so they were able to shoot all the way down. Now, yes, it's not that board at the beginning, right? It's the other board, but this, the point stands. They're able to shoot farther, um, and I had artillery and my artillery, right? The Norwegian artillery, and I was able to actually conduct strikes on the Verne's airfield, able to take out some of their artillery. I was doing pretty good in that game. So this game, obviously one where it did not start off very well. And I may have made some poor choices. I made some mistakes along the way as well, some actual rules mistakes, which that's on me, of course, um, as the guy playing. Um, but outside of the rules mistakes, I think I caught most of them. Please, I know you guys will point out the ones I missed or did make. Please do so below in the comments. That way people can see that to make sure they're playing the game correctly. But overall, so give you an idea what the game is like, you know, the different mechanisms that you're doing, trying to kind of build up. And then very, very quickly, you're being attacked and you're under siege and you're just trying to hold out and you're trying to eke by um, and uh, you can see what happens if uh, you're a little unlucky on the unluckier side. So, all right, that is Halls of Hegra from Petter Olsen and Compic Games. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you made it this far, which there's probably not a whole lot of you left watching the video, please you know give the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, I'd sure appreciate it. The first one's free. I promise I won't charge it till I ask you to subscribe again. So, all right, everybody. Until next time. Later.